What's up, Twitch and Forza peoples? Uh, it is July 5th. Today is part two of trying to take down this uh, festival playlist, this new one here, in series 24, I believe. We're 44% complete for the week. Uh, I did the photo challenge, but I didn't take care of that in the first stream. I did that before I started streaming. We finished the weekly Forza Dawn challenges with the Viper. Uh, we need to do the trial, we need to do the showcase remix, we did all the PR stunts last time, and we did our rivals challenge as well. So, I have a whole bunch of cards ready to go for this that I am about to place in my comments section here, in the Twitch chat. Oh, and I have my volume up, so we're getting the repeat there. Alright, so, just placed all the cards and share codes uh, that I plan to be using for this challenge. So, I guess let's get to it, right? Uh, with it being the 4th of July, most of my American manufacturer cars have some uh, some flag red, white, and blueness going on with them. Disconnected. Oh my goodness. Quite alright with that. So, let's open the map and uh, let's see what we got left to do here. We'd like our seasonal stuff, and we'll put some online people on just in case. So what do we got? Uh, we got the Italy races, the road racing Italy races. I mean, I'm right next to them, so I may as well do it. Right? I'll set the route. In 200 yards, turn All left. right. Turn left. Oh boy, a little deep in the corner there. Turn left. I forgot how powerful these things can be. Not powerful and uh, not so grippy. In 100 yards, turn right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. You have arrived at your destination. Well, it's a good thing I'm not racing in that thing anymore, hopefully. Let's see. What are we going to use? Here comes the summer. Great to see uh, you're getting involved Italy. with our seasonal Italy. championships. What was I doing I here? Summer in the city. One. Do I use my Ferrari or do I use my Abarth Fiat? Right? That's really what it's going to come down to. Uh, 508, 434, at like just under 4,000 pounds. That's pretty heavy. That thing's a pig. Um... This thing makes not so much power, but it only weighs 2,000 pounds. So I have a feeling this is going to be the guy I want. I'm going to get a little better handle and stuff out of that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with the Abarth. I drive that thing quite a bit more than I drive any Ferrari anyways. Not usually in this trim. Usually I'm driving this in like an S2 or an S1. Uh, more rally-based rather than road racing. But, nonetheless, still a great car to drive. I actually love to scoop one of these up in real life. I think they just look really cool. And they're uh, a nice little shape. Fun little two-door. Whip around. Here we go. Station circuit. What does this race comprise of? Oh, nice short race. Okay. This will be sweet. Oh, it's anything from Italy, so we're going to get some SUVs, too. All right. Let's get these pictures out of the way, I guess, real quick here. Boom. Three cars. That's what I'm talking about. I just need two more. Now, if you one of these guys, you can just bam. Right? Oh, that was all I got. That sucked. Oh well. This A class is really, really difficult. Just the get your speed going again once you're moving, you know? I should have tried this one in manual. 
starting to try and learn how to drive in manual and uh, realizing the lower class cars, it's much more important to drive manual so you can keep your speed and your gearing correctly. See if we can make up some ground. Gotta get by these guys. There you go. Yeah, take that inside line. You guys go deep. I'll just hook right in here. Good to go. Alright, so we are out first now. That's great. Even these guys are only set on expert. I have a feeling I'm still going to have a decent amount of work cut out for me. I'm just going to cut through the street furniture. Sick of trying to avoid it. Yes. That was what I wanted for that turn. That was great. Sometimes you just got to let off the throttle. Ooh, sometimes you use the brake. Oh, sometimes you smack a wall taking a turn too tight. That was a climb Kana file right there. Funny as he's been watching those. All right. So first place, but like I said, not as easy as I thought it would be, unfortunately. I thought these are going to be a little bit faster. I mean, I know this thing only makes like 200-something horsepower, but it only weighs 2,000 pounds, too, so I figured it'd buggy pretty well. Doesn't seem to be the case. Second race of the series. City Sprint. I like sprints. Oh, look at that. And the third one's right behind me. Maybe I'll try this one in manual. Let you all see how how crap I am at driving manual. So we're not going to go to pro, but I'm going to give it a try at manual. Let's see what I can do. Come on. There we go. Oh, shift a little late. Yeah, 
It's just, the manual is weird to me, all right? In this game, I drive a manual, or I know how to drive a manual. I don't daily drive one anymore, but, you know, I have plenty of cars that are manuals that I could daily drive if need be. And, uh, I don't know, man. Just driving manual in this game is weird compared to driving manual in, like, real life. It's much easier for me to gauge what, what gear I need to be in and everything, like, in real life. I'm doing, I don't know, pretty decent with it though. Straight the red line. Uh, all right, I didn't think it did too bad. I can definitely see the advantage of driving manual in this game, coming out of certain turns. Um, uh, obviously, like once you press the E brake, it pretty much just sends you right back down to first gear, and then when you slam the gas, you're you know, wah, bah, 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 until you catch. So I mean, I get that it's it's nice you can drop from like fourth to second or like fifth to third. And still have some traction and some pe some speed and, and not have to blow out your tires at first gear. So that's cool. But like I said, it's it's just a lot more difficult to gauge, you know, how fast I need to be going. And I cockpit view is also another thing I'm not really like a fan of per se. Um my other race. Yeah, it's back there. Uh yeah, cockpit view is just like a, a whole separate thing that I, I just don't want to partake in. It's nowhere close to actually driving a real car and trying to race a real vehicle. I've autocrossed mine at least a couple times and uh, cockpit view doesn't feel like I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. At least to me. Like, see, that was cool. I could just bang down in a second. And stay in second. Now I have to worry about this shifting back and forth thing. Reverse kills me, though, because then I'm, like, trying to hit the brake and, you know, reverse like normal. And then it doesn't because it's in manual, not automatic. And then I keep trying to hit X to join events, and it's not X. Oh, man. New controller layouts. All right, last race. I didn't pay attention if it was a circuit or a sprint. I'm busy answering my phone. All right, still got my FPI eye plate on my car. Swap it back to Strange on my uh my UK custom plate that I came up with. 
FPIIs for the Forza Police Interceptors International group that I am a part of. Super fun little group. We have mini games. We play cops and robbers. Uh, we do some actual racing every now and then too. We recently started playing football or soccer, as different people will refer to it, depending where you are from. That's kind of fun. I kind of suck at it though, honestly. So not so much fun for me. Look at this AI trying to ram me. Bruh. Do you know who you're racing? Oops, he's brought that one up in a red line. Didn't mean to. Here we go. This is where I am going to excel over any of the other cars in this race. My handling is bomb.com compared to theirs. The straightaway shit, though, not so fun. Do I have a sixth? Oh, sweet. Thank God. I thought I was going to get stuck in fifth. That would have sucked. Ball back down to fifth real quick. Oh, I'm just going to let it run out. I'm going to redline it. I'm going to I'm just going to lose a whole bunch of speed through here anyways when I cut back through, so. Alright, that's about the smoothest I've ever made that turn. And again, this is like me starting to learn to drive manual on Forza. I don't know, I think I'm doing pretty all right. I don't think I'm too bad of a manual driver. We'll see as I get more technical with things, you know. Summer in the city. Give me that. What? Oh yeah, MC12 Corsa. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, what's next? Uh, nope, nope, not what I wanted to hit. So I'm used to hitting my select button there to pull up the map, but I, I don't have that feature anymore because now I'm in manual. Things you have to get used to. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Let's go check this out too. Must have hit 50% complete. Oh yeah, baby! Ba boom Got me one of them there, Quenig Sigs. Alright, so 52%. That's pretty sweet. Uh, what do we do next? What do we do next? Do we want the trophy? Do we want the rebel? Do we want to do the showcase? Get that out of the way. That's pretty easy. Trials and playground games are always sketchy. You never know who you're going to get paired up with, you know. Uh, an online series adventure should be pretty easy for me to do. Uh, I think I want to do the Macho Motoring one, just because it's dirt racing. Oh, look at me. Not paying attention and stuff. Uh, nope, that's the extreme off-road one. I mean, I do it, so I guess I should just get it done. 
I really want to do the dirt races first. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Let's fast travel that. All right, so, Macho Motoring. What shall we pick for this? Oh, I know which one I'm taking for this. You know what's better than a seasonal championship in the summer? Uh, not much, really. Have fun. So, I've provided either my Vahal or my, my Dodge. Um... Yeah, not not the pre-order. That thing's not even touched. So, this guy makes, oh boy, 853 and 741 to the wheels at uh, 3,200 pounds. That guy makes slightly more horsepower and a little bit more torque, but weighs a couple more hundred pounds. I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Valhall. I'm pretty sure. You know, I've already ripped a Viper around. I want to spread the love, okay? Gonna spread the love. We have our our Ball Hall, aka Pontiac GTO. With that V8 and our America livery. We're gonna rip it. All right, here we go. Dirt race. Some crazy powerful cars. So far, I don't really see too much dirt. Yo, this <laughs> driving manual at this level of power is a little bit different. Alright, here we go. Here's the dirt. I asked for it. I'm getting it. Yeah, dude. Driving manual with high power and sketchy handling. Oh, God. This is much different than what I was just doing with a, a boss. <laughs> here I was thinking I was a boss. Picking up on this manual thing pretty quick. This is hard. Again, if I was actually driving this, like real life in a car, much more easy to determine uh, what kind of gearing I need to be in here and all that fun stuff. thing just wants to bang off the rev limiter non-stop as well. Doesn't really help me so much. I don't know if I've actually done any better driving manual than I do compared to auto, at least in this high horsepower uh, situation. Wow. I have to go say situation and scenario at the same time. Uh, 
not too bad for my first race in high horsepower. Alright, uh, next race. Are there any close by in my view? Nope, that's Playground Games. Getting the map back up. What do we got? What do we got? One there. Where's my third race? Where's my third race? Oh, geez, way over there. Alright, well, we'll go to this one first. 2.8 miles. Cutting that down. Recalculating route. Oh, that's a house. figured out the key to this is to try and stay in the middle of the power range and then I'll have pretty decent traction I gotta say this GTO does great as a rally car I usually run this on higher class and uh, it's awesome it's one of my go-to's 
boogies down the straights for sure. And it's got pretty decent handling. Design, liking it for the flag. Uh, man, I keep hitting the select button like I'm gonna get the map, and uh, doesn't happen that way anymore. <laughs> All right, well, let's go fast travel to this bed, Larry. Uh, actually, let me see what's up here. Oh, I really miss being able to just pull up the map in one shot. Like, boom. Uh, I need to hang a right just straight across. And that's my best bet. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh boy, force dawn. No, thank you. Nothing really too good this week, in my opinion. Plus, I own it all already, so I'm all set. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, oh, oh! Losing it, losing it. Be a squirrely boy now. In 400 yards, turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Continue in the championship. Hopefully, I believe this is the rest, uh, last race. Wow. Can't talk today. Another sprint. I like that. Good 
This thing handles like crap on the road. Not on the dirt. some of my best driving, I'll admit. Oh, that turn was pretty good. All right, you're gonna give me that one. That was pretty damn smooth. Did not mean to <laughs> land in first gear, redlining it. course. Alright, I think I did too bad. Alright, so that completed Macho Motoring. I think I'm gonna have to call it for part two right here. Unfortunately, and break this up into a part three. Got some things I need to do and stuff. But let's see where we're at. Leveling up, 199. Give me that wheel spin. All right, playlist, what you got for me? Oh, got the rebel. Will the rebel yell? 58% and 19 for the month. Still need to do the trial. Still need to do showcase remix. Still need to do playground games and cross country and the online adventure. When I get online adventure done, that'll take up a very good uh, portion of the percentage, so that'll help. So stay tuned. Part three is gonna come. Maybe in part three, I'll just try and slam out the 100% for the week, or you know, at least do as close to 100% as I can get. But yeah, so far I haven't missed any daily, so that's good. Good stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, definitely subscribe if you liked uh, watching this. Feel free to use those share codes beneath or any of the cars. And I wish you the best of luck. And until next time, keep it real.